after Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu departed from this world, Narottam Das Thakur, Srinivasacharya, and Shamananda decided to, to, to celebrate the first Gaur Purnima festival in Ketari Gram. Ketari is the birthplace of Narottam Das Thakur. And it's the place that he returned from after years of living in Vrindavan. He returned there to expand the path of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, the path of Prema Bhakti to all the towns and villages in that area of Bengal. When they decided to have this Gaur Purnima festival, they not only invited all the villagers from all the area, but they invited all Lord Chaitanya's and Nityananda's devotees who were still present in the world. And the presiding Acharya of our Sampradaya at that time was Janava Devi, Ishwari Janava, who was the pleasure potency consort of Nityananda Prabhu. Raghunath Das Goswami, Rupa Goswami, Sanatana Goswami, Jiva Goswami all honored her as a senior Acharya, Guru. And Narottam Srinivas and Shamananda invited her to preside during this festival. And she came. And the culmination of this Gaur Purnima festival, the first Gaur Purnima festival, after Mahaprabhu's disappearance, was Narottam Das Thakur sang a kirtan. As he was singing, Murdanga players started playing, cartels were playing, and Janava was so pleased by the sincerity of Narottam Das Thakur that she glanced upon him. In that glance, she infused him because she's a Shakti. She's an expansion of Srimati Radharani. She's a Nanga Manjari in the spiritual world. She infused Narottam Das Thakur with her bhava, with her love, with her compassion with her feelings of separation from Lord Chaitanya and Nityananda. And through that glance, Narottam Das Thakur was given such a sweet spiritual power that when he was chanting, the devotees' hearts were melting and everyone was crying in loving separation from Lord Chaitanya's and associates. And by the power of that kirtan, which was very much the manifestation of Janava Devi's loving glance of compassion coming through Narottam Das Thakur, it was irresistible. Lord Chaitanya appeared to everyone, along with Nityananda Prabhu and Gadadhar Pandit and Srivas, Sri Ram, Sri Pati, Sri Nidhi, and Haridas Thakur appeared, and Rupa and Sanatan Goswamis appeared. Murari Gupta, Swarup Damodar Goswami, Ramananda Rai, all the associates of Lord Chaitanya who had already disappeared from this world. Mukunda Dat, they all appeared in the kirtan as Narottam was singing. They were all dancing and dancing and crying together. And everyone, all the villagers, all the devotees, everyone could see this. The intoxication of spiritual happiness that was showering upon everyone is something that's inconceivable. Just by speaking about this pastime, just by hearing about this pastime, 
with a sincere and faithful heart, we can be transformed forever. As they were all singing and dancing together, Advaita's sons were rejoined with him. Janava Devi was seeing her beloved Nityananda again after so many years in the Bhakti Ratnakar and Narottam Vilas. This beautiful story is described in great detail. And then they all disappeared. And everyone could understand that the Lord, in separation, they were forever connected with Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. And then Janava Devi, in a simple way, she cooked for all the devotees and arranged the serving of all the devotees. And she arranged a holy festival where everyone would see the deities installed and beautifully sprinkled with natural colors. And this was the first Gaur Purnima festival. You were listening to Radhanath Swami on devotionalnectar.com.